Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and I am so sorry this has been a long time coming. I've missed, I think, three or four weekends in a row now of new stuff in EDM. But um, yeah, it's because I've actually just been gone the last three Sundays and Mondays, so I haven't been able to put this video out. But we are finally here because I have COVID. I was actually supposed to miss this one again. I was supposed to be gone another Monday, but uh, I have COVID, so I'm stuck in this room. So uh, let's get into it again. All of these songs are on Spotify. Sadly, the last three weeks of new music has not been there, but it's updated for now, hopefully. Uh, and we've got no, no trash songs this week. No trash. So let's hop into the bad category. We've got Extremes by Alan Walker and Revor Daniel. Uh, basic beat, short runtime, poor vocals. It's Alan Walker right now. That's the best way to put it. Up next, we've got Fool 2022 uh, by Roman Silver. I can always count on Roman Silver for something uh, new and creative. And this song is that, but the new and creative sound feels a little incomplete. Um, maybe it wasn't so much, if it wasn't so much of the forefront of the mix, I would have enjoyed it a little bit more. I liked what it was doing in the back end of the mix, but it was just this, the one sound of, I don't know what kind of weird synth it was, but it, it just didn't work for me. Up next, we've got Killer B by Blue Claire and Otoro, uh, featuring Chira. Um, odd track that definitely takes some getting used to. Uh, very repetitive nature uh, with a kind of metallic synths uh, that wasn't really doing it for me in my end. And so maybe like this, but uh, I did not think it was great. As we head into the meh category, songs that are just meh, maybe you'll enjoy them. Uh, we've got Full Assault by Varian, Sila, and Jackie Extreme, the double-sided single, technically EP, uh, from Varian back on Monster Cat. And uh, <laughs> the double-sided single, the both songs uh, are, have a strong emphasis on an industrial bass sound. Um, didn't love the vocals on this one particularly, but did appreciate the creepy sound design. Uh, in the end, it just wasn't for me, maybe with some more time. Uh, yes, and maybe with the kind of spooky season of October, maybe I'll enjoy it some more, but uh, for now, uh, just, just meh. We've got Sharpshooter by Riot. The In Case of Fire EP is out. We've got the, uh, yeah, this is the best of the three songs for sure. This new era of Riot, really not for me. I don't really understand why they're going this direction, but they are. Uh, this one luckily had a actual tone to it and an atmosphere, but uh, the drop, especially the second one, was just weird. And there were some notes that were all over the place. I just, uh, not loving the new Riot stuff. Then we've got Premier League by Morte, Morty and Odd Prophet. Uh, I don't generally like the hard-hitting rhythm style of dubstep, uh, but this isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, catch you on a good day, and I think it's great. Catch you on a bad day, and this may be one of the worst songs I've ever heard. So I, I don't have too much to say about this, these kind of dubstep rhythm style songs, but uh, that's that. We've got Two Things by Don Diablo, a pretty basic track from Don here with a little more spunk than we've got uh, in the past, um, and, but uh, I would say this is one of his better songs as of late, so uh, it's it's just here in May. Then we've got I'm Good or Blue, the Tiesto remix, originally by David Guetta and BB Rexa. Uh, I was pretty vocal about not liking the original, uh, but uh, this, this remix is definitely better. It's a kind of fusion of electro and big room house. Um, and remove some of the cheesiness from the original that I kind of despised. Uh, in the end, still pretty meh. Tiesto's O was kind of just basic, but um, it's better than some other songs, that's for sure. Then we've got uh, Why Can't You Wait, the Blau remix by The Chainsmokers and Bob Moses. Uh, not too bad, all things considered. A very underground deep house sound that would slap at a club. And uh, in the right setting, I would actually go crazy for this, but uh, not a fantastic individual listen, I would say. But uh, not too bad, especially when <laughs> Blau kind of removed some of the chain smoker style sounds of the track. And uh, I personally appreciated that because I really do like Bob Moses. So I felt like it was, I felt like it was, it worked. And uh, then we got On My Own by Said the Sky and, or William Black and Say We Can Fly. Another generic Said the Sky mellow dub track for me with a kind of alternative rock influence to it. Uh, really hoping the style gets mixed up soon. I'm I'm kind of done with this mellow dub rock stuff and I, yeah, not not for me, but if you love it, kudos. Uh, then we got Journey by Yatep and Klax. Uh, I really like the sound design and atmosphere from this track, but uh, otherwise felt it wasn't doing a whole lot. Um, it's kind of a borderline basic future bass track for me and wasn't doing a whole ton of anything different, but uh, I really did like what the, the song did set up, or I think originally. But 
Now we've got Discipline by Mala and Chami. The Don Mala LP is out now. It's a fusion of a bit of, not fusion, but a bit of bass house, a little bit of tech house. Um, but this is a relatively good song with not a whole ton going on, kind of like some of the other stuff I've said. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really put anything higher than meh, I think, for now, but uh, I do like my house. I think it just needs a little bit more. It just needs a, a, something a little bit more, but not too bad. And we've got Kiwi by Snouse and Foramic. Foramic? Uh, another really short, pretty solid hybrid track from Snouse. And with no vocals, it's kind of becoming this, th this theme for Snouse of just the same short track, hybrid trap, no vocals, and they're just doing this over and over again. And the tracks aren't bad. They're actually kind of good, but they just feel like they're almost teasers. And I would rather him take more time to flesh out a track and maybe give it a third or fourth drop even uh, than just hit us with these kind of small, smaller tracks, smaller length tracks. So, uh, and then we got Rude Boy 22, the Spotify singles uh, from Zed's Dead, a wonky, more minimalistic drum and bass track that doesn't really offer a whole ton or do too much, which a lot of the songs felt that way for me this week. Uh, it would be nice in DJ set, but with just over two minutes, uh, you can you can kind of pass on this one. So we head into the good category. We've got Similes by Where Is Alex? Another very chill, relaxing, well-produced track from Where Is Alex here uh, with some great instrumentation and sound design, albeit uh, quite a quick track. But we move on to Unbreakable by Horoprox featuring Bianca. Horoprox's best song on Monster Cat, I would say. Uh, great supportive vocals from Bianca as well. Uh, I don't really like quick songs, but something about this had a kind of X factor that felt like it worked. Um, for being quick, and I think that was partially in part due to the continued drop at the end. It didn't feel as formulaic with a kind of extended uh, back half of the track, so not too bad. Then we've got Jack, the So Fond remix, originally by Pegboard Nerds. I uh, thought this was miles stronger than the original, just by Pegboard Nerds. Um, there was a intensity and grittiness that was brought to this track that I think the original lacked, and uh, I actually think this is the best release from Nerd Nation that I've heard so far. There's not a ton of releases, I think just under 20, um, but uh, this is my favorite from the Nerd Nation label as of, as of today. And our third track of the week is Think About uh, by One True God and Eddie. This is my first run of Think About. I've not heard anything from Think About before. Uh, sorry, from One True God uh, before, but uh, obviously no Eddie. Um, it's a deep, darker atmosphere with a brooding lead line. Uh, reminds me a lot of Zhu, the ZHU uh, kind of deep house producer. A uh, mixture of techno and deep house that uh, that really worked for me. So I like this one quite a bit. And our penultimate track of the week is Sell Your Soul by Slippy and Tynan. A solid dubstep track that takes a lot of influence from a lot of different places. You got some trap in there, some color bass, some kind of old school dubstep, little hints of rhythm. And uh, it is another short track, but uh, what it did, I think it did really well. And I love the horn section at the end after the last drop, but I kind of wanted more of that. I wanted that in the actual song, in the actual drops or in the, in the lead up, in the build, but um, just that at the end. And our number one track of the week is a standout track. And standout, uh, I'm not sure if we had those one of those in a while, but uh, we've got I'm Delighted by Cookie Monster, uh, Cookie Monster, Flux Pavilion, and Coven. This is a posthumous song from Cookie Monster, meaning Cookie Monster actually had passed away uh, back in October of 2020, I believe. And so um, this is a beautiful track that has a great uh, emotional depth to it that I think is only compounded by Cookie's passing and in a sad way, in a sad and beautiful way at the same time, I think it all works together to be a kind of a nice swan song of sorts. And yeah, it's not the craziest song in the world, but the production is great. And I love the the vocals from Katie here. And uh, it makes you want to go back and listen to more uh, Cookie Monster because I was a little not too familiar with their discography. But uh, this was this was a very, I felt, honoring track. And I think they did a good job with it. So that has been this week in EDM. Thank you so much for listening. And um, yeah, again, everything is in the Spotify link down below if you want to listen to these tracks. And uh, I'm Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.